This is Pablo Picasso. He is a 14 year old grade gelding. He is strawberry roan with tons of frosting, flex mane and tail. This guy is so beautiful. Stands 15 3. He's also very stout built, so he can carry pretty much anyone. Anyone. Tail almost drags the ground. He is, I mean, he's classy, classy going, but so, so gentle. Stands great for mounting, stands on a tie line, low on the pecking order in the field and gets along with everybody. Never even backs his ears during feeding time or when a horse passes him on the trail. You'll find yourself in the back a little bit because he could care less if the other horses take off. He's fine to walk when the others go and that is his favorite gait. But when you see him gait, he has a really, really nice one. So Kristen's gonna step up on him and walk him over towards the obstacle course. He is as broke of a horse as we've had here at this farm in a very long time. I've not seen him spook at anything, and I've really not even seen him make a misstep of any sort. No holes, no vices. This guy knows his job, and want to talk about sweet. He'll just bury his head in, in your chest and just want you to scratch and love on him. He is a super, super sweet boy. He was sold to us as 10, and a vet aged him as 10 on his Coggins, but my vet said he felt like he was more 13 to 14. So we're having 14 put on our Coggins just to cover ourselves as a worst case scenario. As we all know, it gets harder and harder to age him after a certain age, but he is somewhere between 10 and 14 years old. So we're gonna take him over to the obstacle course. Here is Picasso on the obstacle course. One of my favorite things about this guy is that even though he doesn't spook at anything, he still has that classy look. He's got his head up, he's got his ears pricked. You know, he doesn't look like a complete deadhead, even though he pretty much is. He's always saying, hey, look at me. I am so, so, so pretty. Flags are flying and he doesn't care. Noises in the background with the horses. Feeding is going on. I will tell you don't point him if you don't want to go because he doesn't question you. And if you want to go up and down Heels, get off the trail, leave the other people and go do something different. He's happy to do that. Haven't seen a single thing he has not wanted to go through other than when we first got him, he was not sure about water. Now he'll go all through water and mud, doesn't care one bit. All right, we're going to take him to the pavement and let you hear the pretty music. Nice little backup. Here comes Picasso walking down the driveway. Walking calmly away from the barn and towards the highway. His walk, he can walk with gated horses or quarter horses, where some of our walkers, they're way too fast to walk with quarters. He can walk with them. So if you ride with both, his walk is really nice. If you ride with super fast walking gated horses, he's probably gonna be in the back. And there's the pretty music. We're gonna head out into the woods. Here's a little bonus video of Picasso being chased by the golf cart, which is in desperate need of some WD-40 and doing lots of squeaking. You can also see he has dogs underneath his feet and all around him. He's absolutely never kicked at another horse and never kicked at any of the dogs. Never seen him show a lick of aggression at any of the other animals. As a matter of fact, last weekend he was trying to share hay with Fancy Blue. Fancy Blue was not going for that much at all. <laughs> but he was willing to share. Here's the 
here is Picasso over by the creek. I'm going to do a little trail riding and be chased by some dogs. Told you when we first got him, his only hesitation was water. Now, we took him to Wranglers last weekend, and we've had so much rain that there was nothing but mud and water, I felt like. So, we had to oil saddles this week. Our saddles got so wet and muddy. So, he definitely learned to go through it because he really didn't have any option. wish you could see the view here live it, it's distorted in the camera but the sun shining through the trees just almost looks like heaven lighting up it's beautiful and there went Jerry through the creek <laughs> he's also sort of learning to drink out of the creek he didn't really understand that either and he's learning to take a drink when he gets the opportunity let you see him do it on a little bit more gating and we'll go through the other creek. Kristen was mentioning anytime he stops, he stops perfectly square and pricks his ears and looks around. He's just like a model all the time. There is some bonus video of Picasso gating towards the other creek. Slow that up just a little bit. Try to get a video of Jerry carrying the stick he's carrying. It's about three feet, I would say, two and a half, three feet long. The other day he had a stick like that and he was circling my car, which is a thing he does. It's a position thing. He circles your golf cart, he circles your car, whatever you're on. And um, he went around my car and scratched it, so I'm not very happy with him and his big sticks right now. <laughs> a little side view here. guy reminds me so much of Roanoke that we had, but so much more chill than Roanoke was. Roanoke had a motor, and this guy, not one at all. But he still looks like he does. And we're going to take him through this second ditch and let you see him go through it. Here is Picasso going through the second creek. As you can see Jerry there with his stick, blocking everything. Whew, something smells nasty. I'll say one of these dogs just did something. All right, there he is going through the second creek and a little backing up. Here is some bonus video of Mr. Picasso doing some gating from the front side. We're heading back towards the barn now. burned a massive burn pile down here on Tuesday night. It looks so pretty going, so much action. Here's Picasso Cannery. He was kind of in and out of it there, but he does have a really nice, slow, kind of rocking chair canner. Very, very nice. Here's a close-up of Picasso's feet. Don't you see those? You can see there's no scars, no damage. He has no abscesses. He's got fresh shoes on. Stands up nice and high and tall. Kristen's going to go ahead and pick up one of his front feet for you so you can see how he does that. Okay. And... But you see his back feet. He's resting on one. All right, and let her pick up one of those for you. He's already practically got one picked up, so that'll be pretty easy. Okay. 
Kristen says I'm little oh, and he is big. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. There he is. He is so pretty. If you could see him in person, I mean, all the frosting that is throughout his body, it is literally like a work of art, and that's why we named him Picasso. You got to see how loving this horse is. And it's just one of those things that you just can't do unless you video it. We talk about it, but when you start scratching him, one thing he does is he just starts putting his whole weight of his head, snuggling it and burying it inside, just, just getting as close to you as he can possibly get. And kisses, he absolutely loves kisses. Uh, some horses, you got to kiss at them, and that kind of scares them, and they back away, and he absolutely loves them, so... He is an in-your-pocket, loving, loving, sweet little booger. But he's not aggravating. He's not looking to steal your food or nip at you or play. But he absolutely loves cuddles.